Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on inverse Z transform using long division method. Previously, we have studied two different methods. The first one is partial fraction method. So, each method has its own technique. In partial fraction method, I said it is very important. You have to take f of z by z. First of all, remember z of f of n is capital f of z. So, we have to take the problem as f of z by z. The problem will be given as z inverse of f of z. Do you remember I said we have to preserve one z in the denominator to proceed in partial fraction. Then in the second method we use Cauchy residue theorem to solve the problems. In this case what you have to do we have to take f of z and we have to multiply by z power n minus 1. So, each method has its own technique to solve. Similarly, now we are going to see the third method, long division method. How to solve the problem in long division method? That is what our concern in this video. So, in this uh, session, I am just going for the classical digital board and the screen to solve the problem. Time is the concern. So, let us go into the problem. Find z inverse of z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole square using long division method. Unless otherwise the method is mentioned as long division, you do not want to solve by long division. If you are compatible with partial fraction, you do it. Cauchy residues method is very good. You can easily get the answer. But if they specify the method is solved by long division, then no other go. You have to solve by long division method. So, here what is the trick? As usual, we are going to take capital F of z as z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole square. To solve the problem in long division method, I want to convert f of z as at least the power z power minus 1. So, none of the terms should contain positive power. It should be constant like it start with constant z power minus 1, z power minus 2, z power minus 3, it goes on. Now, we have to convert the problem into negative powers. First, we have to simplify the given problem. If it is already simplified, we go for the next step. z square minus 2z plus 1. To get the negative powers, I have to take the highest power from the denominator as well as in the numerator. If I take z square common, I will be getting 1 plus z by z square. Similarly, in the denominator, if I take z square in common, 1 minus 2z divided by z square plus 1 by z square. Now, z square, z square get cancelled. I can rewrite this as 1 plus z power minus 1 because z z will get cancelled here. Similarly, z z will get cancelled in the denominator. So, 1 minus 2 z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2. Now, my f of z is ready. So, in long division method, the clue is f of z should be in the negative powers of z. Now, let us solve the problem using long division method. So, write the numerator inside and the denominator out. 1 minus 2 z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2. Now, do the calculation. 1. So, just multiplying with 1, I will be getting 1 minus 2 z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2. Now, changing the sign, we will be getting 3 z power minus 1 minus z power minus 2. Now, multiplying with 3 z power minus 1, I will be getting 3 z power minus 1 minus 6 z power minus 2 plus 3 z power minus 3. Then again, changing the sign, this, this will get cancelled. 5 z power minus 2 minus 3 z power minus 3. Next, we have to multiply with 5 z power minus 2. We will be getting 5 z power minus 2 minus 10 z power minus 3 plus 5 z power minus 4. Tallying this, we will be getting 7 z power minus 3 minus 5 z power minus 4. So, the next term is going to be plus 7 z power minus 3. It goes on. At least we need 4 data for finding the sequence. So, we almost arrived the 4 data. I think this is enough. We can stop here. This means it goes up to infinity. It keep on going. So, now we found this data. We have to write this in a proper way to find the solution. So, capital F of z is nothing but 1 plus 3 z power minus 1, 5 z power minus 2, 7 z power minus 3. It is an infinite series. We get as the solution. Now, we know z of f of n 
is going to be capital f of z therefore i can rewrite this as summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n is equal to 1 plus 3 z power minus 1 5 z power minus 2 7 z power minus 3 etc to understand because of the definition now from this i am going to find the values of f of n so comparing both i can get the values of f of n that is f of 0 is 1 f of 1 is 3 f of 2 is 5 f of 3 is 7 it goes on from this i can see this is odd number from this sequence we can say f of n is equal to 2n plus 1 so when i put n equal to 0 i'll be getting 1 when i put n equal to 1 i'll be getting 3 when i put n equal to 2 i'll be getting 5 so this is the solution for this problem so either you can write f of n in terms of n or you can simply write f of n is equal to 1 3 5 7 9 etc this is the final solution for this problem students we will see one more problem on this series problem number two we took a similar problem like problem one now let capital f of z is equal to z square plus 2 z divided by z square plus 2 z plus 4 since it is long division method take the highest power out you will be getting 1 plus 2 z by z square i am writing directly that is 2z power minus 1. In the denominator, when I take z square out, I will be getting 1 plus 2z power minus 1 plus 4z power minus 2. Now, z square, z square will get cancelled. We get the f of z. Therefore, our f of z is 1 plus 2z power minus 1 divided by 1 plus 2z power minus 1, 4z power minus 2. Now, we get our numerator and denominator. Let us go into the long division method and find the sequence. Inside, we have 1 plus 2z power minus 1. Outside, we have 1 plus 2z power minus 1 plus 4z power minus 2. Just multiply with 1, we'll be getting 1 plus 2z power minus 1 plus 4z power minus 2. Now, changing the sign, minus, 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 this 2 will get cancelled. We'll be getting minus 4z power minus 2. Now, multiplying with minus 4z power minus 2, we'll be getting minus 4z power minus 2 minus 8z power minus 3 minus 16z power minus 4. Now, changing the sign, this both will get cancelled. We will be getting 8z power minus 3 plus 16z power minus 4. Again, multiplying with 8z power minus 3, we will be getting 8z power minus 3 plus 16z power minus 4 plus 32z power minus 5. Now, again, changing the sign and simplifying this, we will be getting minus 32z power minus 5. Now, you can multiply with minus 32z power minus 5. We keep on proceeding this. So, we get 4 terms is enough for us. So, from 4 or 5 terms, we can find the sequence. Now, from the problem, we get f of z is 1 minus 4z power minus 2 plus 8z power minus 3 minus 32z power minus 5, etc. It goes on. And we know this definition, z of f of n is capital f of z. That is nothing but summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n z power minus n. Therefore, summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n z power minus n is going to be 1 minus 4 z power minus 2 plus 8 z power minus 3 minus 32 z power minus 5 etc. From this, we are going to find the values. So, f of 0, the first value is 1. Here, when I put 1, you will be having z power minus 1 term, but here in the right hand side, it does not have z power minus 1 term. So, the coefficient is 0. f of 2, coefficient is minus 4. f of 3, it is going to be 8. Then, f of 4, there is no coefficient 0. f of 5 is going to be minus 32. In the previous problem, we get the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. So, we just mentioned the general term 2n plus 1. But in this case, f of n is getting like this. 1, 0, minus 4, 8, 0, minus 32, etc. We cannot form the sequence. In this situation, just write the sequence is 1, comma, 0, comma, minus 4, 8, 0, minus 32, etc etc. You can stop like this. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.